Imagine stepping into the shadowed streets of Victorian London, where terror lurks around every corner. Welcome to Moments in History, where we embark on thrilling explorations of the past. In this video, we delve into the elusive identity of one of history's most notorious figures, Jack the Ripper. We will cover who he was, his motives, and some theories of his identity. Who he really is, the answers lie before us, waiting to be discovered. So, stay tuned until the end of this video, as we embark on a quest to understand who Jack the Ripper truly was, and what compelled him to unleash such terror upon the streets of London. In the late 1800s, the foggy streets of London's Whitechapel district bore witness to a series of heinous crimes that would send shockwaves through society. This reign of terror was orchestrated by a mysterious figure who would come to be known as Jack the Ripper. His gruesome murder history still fascinates and horrifies us to this day. Between August and November 1888, the Ripper's shadow loomed over the impoverished and overcrowded neighborhood. His victims were predominantly impoverished prostitutes who sought a meager living in the darkened streets. The Ripper's method of attack was swift and brutal, leaving the woman with no chance to escape his clutches. The motives behind Jack the Ripper's crimes remain shrouded in speculation. Various theories have been proposed by experts and armchair detectives alike. Some suggest that he harbored a deep-seated misogyny and hatred towards women venting his anger and frustration by targeting those whom he deems as societal outcasts. Others have speculated that the Ripper's motives went beyond mere personal animosity. Some theories propose that he may have had a medical background or anatomical knowledge due to the precision with which he mutilated his victims. These theories suggest that the Ripper may have been driven by a desire to dissect and study the human body, using his victims as macabre subjects for his twisted experiments. Another theory explores the possibility of religious or ritualistic motivations. Some believe that the Ripper's actions were part of occult rituals or ceremonies, with the mutilations and specific placements of the bodies serving symbolic purposes. However, concrete evidence supporting these theories has been elusive leaving them in the realm of speculation. The Ripper's reign of terror unleashed a wave of panic and fear throughout the city. The public's anxiety intensified as newspapers of the time sensationalized the murders, fueling the imagination with graphic details and lurid headlines. Whitechapel became a place of terror, with women afraid to walk the streets alone at night and residents living in constant fear of the Ripper's next strike. The authorities faced immense pressure to apprehend the elusive killer. Police patrols were intensified and detectives worked tirelessly to solve the case. However, the Ripper proved to be a master of illusion, leaving little evidence behind and managing to evade capture. The frustration and sense of powerlessness among the investigators grew with each passing murder. As the murders continued, a wave of theories and rumors swept through the city. The Ripper's identity remained a mystery, and theories about his motives ranged from a deep-seated hatred towards women to suggestions of ritualistic or even medical motivations. The lack of a clear motive and the seemingly random choice of victims only added to the mystery and perplexity surrounding the case. The impact of Jack the Ripper's crimes reverberated far beyond the streets of Whitechapel. They left an indelible mark on popular culture, inspiring countless books, films, and theories. Theories of Jack the Ripper's Identity Now that we have explored the horrifying crimes and possible motives of Jack the Ripper, it's time to delve into the elusive killer's identity. Countless theories have emerged over the years, attempting to unmask the face behind the notorious figure. While there are no definitive answers, we have gathered six of the most popular and realistic theories for you. Theory 1. Montague John Druitt Montague John Druitt, a barrister, has often been considered a potential suspect in the Jack the Ripper case. 
His inclusion as a suspect is due to a combination of factors, including his mental instability and the timing of his suicide shortly after the last canonical murder. Druitt, an educated man from a respectable family, exhibited signs of emotional and psychological instability. He struggled with his mental well-being, leading some to speculate that the guilt of his heinous acts may have driven him to take his own life. It is important to note, however, that there is no concrete evidence directly linking Druitt to the Jack the Ripper crimes. Skeptics argue that Druitt's suicide, which occurred in December 1888, cannot definitively be attributed to his alleged involvement in the Ripper case. They suggest that it may have been a result of personal issues or unrelated circumstances. Furthermore, Druitt's physical appearance did not match the descriptions provided by witnesses, adding to the ambiguity surrounding his possible connection to the crimes. Despite the lack of conclusive evidence, proponents of the theory point to Druitt's access to medical knowledge and the fact that his suicide coincided with the end of the Ripper's killing spree. They argue that Druitt's familiarity with anatomy stemming from his family's medical background may have facilitated the precise and gruesome mutilations inflicted upon the victims. However, as with all the theories surrounding Jack the Ripper's identity, the Montague John Druitt hypothesis remains speculative. The true extent of his involvement, if any, in the Ripper murders may never be known. The mystery of Jack the Ripper endures captivating the imagination and leaving us to ponder the enigma that still haunts the annals of history. Theory 2. Aaron Kosminski Aaron Kosminski, a Polish immigrant residing in Whitechapel, has long been a subject of speculation in connection with the Ripper murders. Kosminski's inclusion as a suspect stems from his troubled nature and the fact that he was identified by a witness, albeit indirectly. The witness, a fellow lodger named George Hutchinson, claimed to have seen Kosminski with one of the victims shortly before the murder. However, it is important to note that Hutchinson's credibility and the reliability of his testimony have been subject to debate among Ripperologists. Kosminski's mental instability further adds to the intrigue surrounding his potential involvement. He had a history of exhibiting violent tendencies and was even institutionalized for his erratic behavior. Some theorists argue that his mental state and violent inclinations align with the profile of a serial killer like Jack the Ripper. Proponents of the Kosminski theory also point to his proximity to the crimes. As a resident of Whitechapel, he lived in close proximity to the areas where the Ripper victims were targeted. This geographical connection, combined with his troubled past, has led some to believe that Kosminski may have been the elusive killer. However, critics of this theory raise valid concerns about the lack of concrete evidence directly linking Kosminski to the crimes. The witness testimony, while suggestive, remains circumstantial, and no forensic evidence has definitively tied him to the murders. Additionally, some argue that the police at the time may have been desperate to find a suspect and may have targeted Kosminski unjustly. Despite the ongoing debates and uncertainties, the name Aaron Kosminski continues to resonate in discussions about Jack the Ripper's identity. Whether he was a disturbed individual whose actions went beyond public knowledge or an innocent man caught up in the hysteria of the time, the true extent of Kosminski's involvement, if any, remains shrouded in mystery. Theory 3. Francis Tumlety Francis Tumlety, an eccentric American quack doctor, enters the realm of suspicion due to his notorious reputation and his presence in London during the time of the Ripper murders. Francis Tumlety's tale takes us across the Atlantic Ocean from the bustling streets of New York City to the dark alleyways of Victorian London. Tumlety, known for his dubious medical practices and flamboyant personality, had a penchant for collecting anatomical specimens and had a deep-rooted animosity towards women. Tumlety's involvement in the Ripper case gained attention primarily due to his arrest on unrelated charges shortly after the murder ceased. The police suspected him of being the Ripper, but lacked sufficient evidence to convict him. Tumlety's alleged connection to the crimes rests on his misogynistic tendencies and the discovery of peculiar items in his possession, such as surgical instruments and women's clothing. 
Supporters of the Tumlety theory argue that his medical knowledge, acquired through his disreputable practices, could have enabled him to commit the anatomically precise mutilations that characterized the Ripper's modus operandi. Additionally, his deep-seated hatred towards women and a desire for revenge against the society that had rejected him provide a possible motive for his gruesome acts. However, skeptics contend that Tumlety's alleged involvement may be as a result of mere speculation and circumstantial evidence. They point out that his arrest and subsequent release without charges being brought against him suggest a lack of substantive proof. Furthermore, the geographical distance between the crime scenes and Tumlety's known whereabouts raises questions about his direct involvement in the Ripper murders. The enigma surrounding Francis Tumlety's role in the Jack the Ripper case remains unresolved. Whether he was a disturbed individual, driven by resentment, or an opportunistic charlatan exploiting the chaos of the time, the truth eludes us. The mystery of Jack the Ripper continues to captivate the imagination inviting further exploration into the depths of this dark chapter in history. Theory 4. James Maybrick James Maybrick, a wealthy cotton merchant from Liverpool, emerges as a controversial figure amidst the myriad suspects associated with the Ripper murders. The story of James Maybrick takes us to the opulent corridors of Victorian high society, far removed from the squalor of Whitechapel. Maybrick, a respected and affluent individual lived a seemingly charming life. However, beneath his polished facade lay a dark secret that would thrust him into the spotlight of suspicion. The evidence supporting Maybrick as a potential suspect is intertwined with a sensational discovery. In 1992, a diary purportedly written by Maybrick himself came to light. Its contents contained chilling confessions and detailed accounts of the Ripper's crimes. The authenticity of the diary has been fiercely debated, with experts and enthusiasts divided over its legitimacy. Proponents of the James Maybrick theory point to the diary as a crucial piece of evidence that ties him to the Ripper murders. They argue that the diary's intimate knowledge of the crimes, coupled with Maybrick's history of marital discord, and alleged involvement in the Victorian underworld align with the patterns of the Ripper's deeds. However, skeptics dismiss the diary as an elaborate hoax, citing inconsistencies in the document's language and historical inaccuracies. They contend that the diary surfaced long after Maybrick's death and question the motivations of those who brought it to light. The lack of corroborating evidence linking Maybrick directly to the crimes further cast doubt on his alleged involvement. The allure of the James Maybrick theory lies in its blend of wealth, secrecy, and a mysterious diary that tantalizes with its tantalizing revelations. Yet, the true nature of James Maybrick's connection to the Ripper murders remains elusive. Whether he was a cunning mastermind, a victim of circumstances, or a pawn in a larger game, his role in the Jack the Ripper saga continues to ignite intrigue and debate. And that concludes our exploration into the theory surrounding the identity of Jack the Ripper. We hope this gave you the information on the figure who terrorized the streets of Victorian London. We hope it answered the questions you had and provided you with a glimpse into the dark recesses of history. If you found this video informative, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more Moments from History. Goodbye.